The wife who died a year ago appeared in front of the ruins on a rainy day. The man was stunned, and even the mole on the woman's face was exactly the same as his dead wife's. The son ran towards the woman excitedly, and the man could not help but call out the woman's name. But the woman looked confused, as if she did not recognize them at all. The husband and son were shocked again. When his wife passed away a year ago, she said she would return the following year in the rainy season. The husband didn't really believe it, but the son was convinced that his mother would come back. He always counted the days when the rainy season would come by handing the sunny doll upside down. When the teacher saw the sunny day doll, she asked what it was. The student said that Yuji had put it up. Yuji lifted his head and looked at the teacher with sad eyes. The teacher understood what Yuji was thinking. Yuji was happy all of a sudden. Day by day, finally one night, it was raining lightly. The husband and son were in front of the window, their hearts full of expectation. The next morning, the husband took the son to the mountain for an appointment. The son ran forward as fast as he could with a small wooden bucket. He went into a ruin and looked around for his mother. The father closed his eyes and pondered. He was thinking how to comfort his son if he couldn't find his mother. Just then the son suddenly shouted. The husband looked back in disbelief, and there was a woman sitting under the rubble. She looked exactly like his wife. He was stunned for a moment. The son quickly ran towards the woman, and he also went up to ask. The woman did not know who he was talking about and asked who they were. The son walked up and held out his hand. The woman couldn't help but take that little hand, and then followed the two back home. The man said she was his wife and Yuji's mother. He showed her a photo of the three of them together, and the woman finally believed them. While the woman was cleaning her room, the husband whispered to his son not to tell his mother that she had died and not to tell anyone that she had returned. Otherwise, she will be thought of as a ghost by others. The son nodded his head and agreed. Afterwards, the woman asked herself why she had lost her memory. The husband said she was sick to cause the memory loss. The son echoed him, and the woman couldn't help but praise son. She gradually integrated into the family, and deeply believed in the words of the father and son. At night, the husband touched the woman's face, still unable to believe that his late wife had come back to life. The next morning, the woman woke up and saw Yuji sleeping next to her. Her cute little face made her smile. She was about to get up when she saw her husband sitting on the floor. Asleep, it turns out that both father and son slept in her room last night. Perhaps touched by their sincere feelings, the woman began to take on the job of hostess. She fried eggs for her son and husband in the morning, and after seeing them off, she started washing and folding clothes. She kept the house in order. In the evening, she cooked a delicious meal for the father and son. When her son came out of the shower, she would rub her body gently and patiently. In their free time, the three of them would go to the forest to play together. She found herself more and more inseparable from this father and son. Watching the video she made when she was pregnant, she couldn't help but lean her head on her husband's shoulder. The woman who died one year ago found her female colleague. The female colleague's eyes widened and she thought she had seen a ghost. The woman quickly explained the reason for her visit and hoped that she could take care of her husband and son. As she said that, she actually cried out. It turned out that she was about to die, which she had learned it by chance. That day she asked her son why she had to hand the sunny doll upside down. But her son hugged her tightly. At that time, she did not understand what was going on. Until one day, she sent her husband and son away and opened the box he brought back from the ruins. Inside the box was a notebook. She opened the notebook and learned that she had died a year ago. When the rainy season is over, she will leave them again. So her son's sunny day doll was counting down the days to the end of the rainy season. So she started to teach her son how to make omelets and how to dry clothes. She hopes that her son will take care of her sick husband after she leaves. She then finds a female colleague who has a crush on her husband and asks her to take care of him and her son. Finally, she went to the bakery and made a reservation for her son's birthday cake for the next 12 years. She asked the owner to send the cake to her son on his birthday every year. In that evening, she celebrated her son's birthday with her husband. That was the last warm moment she had with her father and son. The next day, the son saw the son coming up and he knew his mother was leaving. So he ran desperately from the school to the ruins and saw his mother. He asked if it had caused her death because his relatives said that his mother had become ill after giving birth to him. The woman laughed and shook her head and replied that it wasn't so. Yuji is a child who will bring happiness. Yuji finally got his heart untied. At that moment, the husband also arrived, saw his wife and started apologizing to her. The woman again comforted her husband. She was happy to be married to him 
and that was the best thing that could have happened to her. And then they held hands and felt the last warm moments. As the last drops of rain fell, the woman finally disappears at the end of the rainy season. This is the most beautiful fantasy love movie. Even though the woman knows she will die in the future, she still comes to the one she loves. A boy has a crush on the female class monitor next door, who is a good student. He sneaked her picture inside a book and peeked at it because he was not good at communicating with others. He was afraid to confess his love until the day he graduated. He was admitted to the local sports college and the head girl was admitted to Tokyo University. He left a message in her classmate book and only then did he communicate with her for the first time. In the summer of his freshman year, he found out that she was going back. So he got up the courage to call her. He said he had left his pen at her on graduation day and wanted it back. Of course, this was just an excuse for him to see her. And she really agreed. On the day he met her, she had returned from the big city and had become so beautiful. He was at a loss for words. Until she handed him the pen, he was also wooden and did not know what to say. Just as she turned to leave, he finally found the courage to date with her. At the coffee table, he was so full of words that he was afraid she would get up and leave if he ran out of things to say. In the evening, while waiting for the train, she rubbed her hands together and said she was cold. So I asked her to put her hands in his pocket. She hesitated for a few seconds and then put her hand in his pocket. He then took the opportunity to grab her hand and also his love. But because of excessive exercise, a run when he recurred an old injury, from then on can no longer exercise. He couldn't even do what normal people can do. So he left college and took in a job in a repair shop. Woman came to meet him but he felt he was not good enough for her. So he broke up. Then he couldn't leave her. So he went to Tokyo alone to look for her. But when he saw her standing with another guy, he felt he was no longer good enough for her. So he turned around and left. Soon after, he received a phone call from her and said he wanted to meet him. So in the early morning when the sunflowers were in full bloom, the girl slowly walked towards him. She had a happy smile on her face and hugged him tightly. She said that they would be very happy together. He was inspired by her courage and this time, it didn't run away from his feelings. Then they got married and had UG. But this is only the story from the husband's point of view. In the woman's diary is another version of the love story. She has a crush on a sports student. She was always watching him secretly. One time he was pushed in a running race. To avenge his death, she cut the school's power supply so that the award ceremony could not go on. Then she used her class monitor's privilege to place herself next to him. She just kept watching him in silence until the day she graduated. She finally found the courage to hand him her classmate book. After seeing the message he wrote, she was very happy. In order to have another encounter with him, she thought of a way. She did not return the pen to him. Finally, in the summer of her freshman year, the girl waited for a call from him. This is what led to the subsequent reunion and love. The story in the notes only goes so far. What the husband didn't know was that the day he went to Tokyo to look for her, the girl saw him too and went after him, but she was knocked down by a car. By the time she woke up in a daze, she had traveled to the future. She spent a happy rainy season with her future husband and son. After the rainy season, she wakes up from her hospital bed and learns that if she marries her husband and has a son, she will die at the age of 28. But she dialed the phone anyway. On a sunny day with sunflowers in bloom, she slowly walks towards the man and becomes his wife. This is the end of the story. The film is called Be With You. A 19-year-old college student travels to 29 years old and meets her future husband and son. She also learns that she will die at the age of 28. But after she returns to the age of 19, she does not change her decision and still chooses to marry her husband. Although the love in the movie is touching, but the ending of the hero and heroine outside the movie is sad. They got married and had children, but eventually divorced again. The actress also passed away on September 27th. 2020. I hope she can live in a recycled time and space like this fantasy love story and find her true happiness.